All right, what's up, guys? So this is a, um, a video a lot of people have been asking about is uh, getting the rear screens to work. So I have aftermarket headrest screens and hadn't really gotten a chance to play with it, uh, but I'm going on a, a trip next week that uh, my son would like to have them work. Unfortunately, doesn't look like they're going to work. Um, so what I've done is I've, I was able to connect it. Now on my previous radio, I had to get a lot of... Uh, a lot of RCAs to go from two to one uh, to make it work for the radio because most radios aren't going to have double outputs. So I, I gather this is pretty normal. Um, got it connected, ran the power. What I did was because this unit takes away one of the cigarette lighters, I took the power off that because as you know in these vehicles it's a little difficult to find switch power. Um, and I just didn't really want to bother with that at the moment. So I just temporarily, um, I'm going to be hooked up to the uh, the cigarette lighter adapter and then assuming I don't change that I added another tail which will end up being for the um, uh, the DVD player which I don't have um, but I'm gonna order it in hopes that that will uh, I don't know maybe fix the issue I'm having with the camera so here's what we got so basically the screen uh, at the moment mirrors okay which um, is crap because it doesn't change the aspect on on the output uh, unit so whatever it's just a mirror at the moment now if I go to um, which I was hoping that if I went to Amazon video I could play a movie and and it would play out the output um, in theory it should work it does not um, in fact, what it does is it takes the video and it goes right about here. This is the video, this whole way across. This bar doesn't go away, um, which I think we know that, but what it does is the video ends up playing behind that. I haven't been able to figure out how to get it wider or change the location of it, um, but if it's mirroring on the back, I assume it's going to do exactly the same thing. I I'm sorry, I don't assume. It does. Um, so I'm not sure if maybe doing the DVD does anything different from when I go to auxiliary which I I think is where that is housed to play how the output is different um, based on my experience so far with this unit they didn't think of anything so I'm gonna say that it's probably gonna do the same thing and it's gonna probably suck um, it's gonna be non-use so what I'll probably end up doing is keeping the DVD separate from the, the radio and have its own uh, DVD player for the headrest. Not not the end of the world, but you know, would have been nice. With my last unit, the Pioneer, I was able to separate it in the unit, play play a movie in the background. It would shut the rear speakers off, and then have music in the front. Um, you know, nice unit, but you know, I wanted something different. So just to give you an idea, let's see if I can uh, show you what this does. Which, if this worked, this would be great. You know, as long as you have an internet connection. Um, you could uh, play a video, which which is great. I, mean, I don't need it for driving, but if it was able to, you know, put the image the right way in the back, it would be good. But it it, it doesn't. So, as you can see, my internet's a little slow at the moment, but most of the screen is cut off, and I tried seeing if I can I can zoom, which doesn't do anything. Um, I, I wasn't able to move it or get it bigger and what it's doing is it's playing behind this bar. Um, I, I know that the app, the Amazon app probably isn't optimized for a tablet but if I'm not mistaken I have it on one of my other tablets and I don't have this problem and obviously I don't have this. So that is likely a software issue that they would need to fix but you, can, I can't, you can't watch this. You can't watch it. Um, the one thing I did see is if you go to video, um, now they have a preloaded video, so I, I don't know if this is any different than DVD, uh, or is this more of a, you upload a video. So the, my next step is going to download a movie or a video, if I can, to a, uh, an SD card or a memory stick and see what that does. Actually, on the back, so this is kind of neat. 
on the back it actually does do the correct aspect ratio so I guess that's not that bad um, I would like to use the app uh, the Amazon app but that's not the end of the world so now I have to figure out how do I get to this how do I get a movie onto this I don't think this is the DVD video I'm gonna say is probably an SD card and aux is most likely the DVD because right now it says no signal um, other than that um, we're still having issues with the turn signal you can listen here now not really sure if it how loud it sounds to you but it's pretty loud it's pretty annoying I was even thinking about taping the tweeter uh, which is where most of the sound comes from and it does make a little bit of a difference I put my hand over it's fine but it's also putting out bass so obviously I'm not gonna tape over my door speaker um, the other thing that I didn't realize um, and I thought it was all in one which it's not because I've tried disconnecting all of this or trying to find a way to disconnect it yeah I haven't done it yet but I want to find a way to cut this signal how the vehicle gets this signal I mean the radio is likely where it's getting that information turn signal I think so if I can disconnect all of this I don't care about any of this but maybe I can get rid of those sounds now the other thing is you get this you get a reverse beep uh, that's just the door one if I shut the car off let me try it if I shut the car off turn it back on and real quick going into reverse uh, let's see that's uh, not, not gonna do it there you go hear that annoying beep now this time it only did it once but if you get in the vehicle and go in reverse and I'm not talking about fast but fast enough where maybe the radio hasn't booted up yet that thing will beep like a backup alarm and when I say a backup alarm it's it's stupid loud I don't know where they thought that that was okay or why people inside the vehicle need to hear a backup alarm but that it's so stupid so annoying I think I was able to shut it off because if I kind of let the car warm up do its thing turn on it kind of goes away um, and unless I'm in proximity of something then it starts beeping loud and it's a different beep that's more for proximity um, I tried shutting off the rear sensors in hopes that that eliminated some of it sometimes kind of sort of so as far as Phoenix goes, um, still no updates. Uh, getting a BS run around. Oh, we sent it to the technician. The technician hasn't gone back to us. It's been like weeks and weeks. Um, but the one good thing is, or one, one other thing I found out is that Rhino Android or Rhino Radio, who apparently sells a similar model. So what it looks like is Phoenix and Rhino are basically resellers of these units. At least with Rhino, I've noticed, or and uh, people have a little bit better things to say. Um, they're a little bit more responsive, and they actually I contacted them because I am in, in the process of probably returning this. Um, the uh, they said that they are aware of all these issues, and that they are working on a fix, and they have a patch at the moment that they're testing. And then when they were ready to release that, they will. Now, I don't know if that is them doing that or is that the, the company in China that makes the radio? Or, you know, it might not be the same radio, but it's exactly the same. So more than likely it is. Um, but uh, they seem to be a little bit more on top of information than Phoenix. And, uh, again, uh, check out all my other videos. And do yourself a favor if you're before you buy this check out all the videos look online and not everybody's having same problems but a lot of people are having problems and check out their reviews check out better business bureau um, wish I would have did that I probably wouldn't have bought the radio until I started seeing better reviews um, a lot of people that I've seen videos that they're actually returning the units so far I'm trying to stick it out I mean I can deal with a lot of the things but now that I'm trying to get the, the rear radio to work, I mean the rear uh, screens, you know, it, it's, it may change it where I might just be better off going back to Pioneer or an Alpine unit or, or something like that. 
Um, any questions, uh, feel free to leave comments, and um, I'm probably going to do another video once I try to get a little more information on these, uh, these videos, uh, the video playback. Thanks.